Sure, I was really thankful for Dr. Renahan's talk right before this, that we, when he said that uh, the Protestant doctrine has never been that there's no need for a pastor teacher in the life of the people of God. At least I'm summarizing what he said, but that's the way I would put it. And, and that's really true. Uh, the illustration that I would use, uh, I call it the Mrs. Kelly illustration. The Mrs. Kelly illustration is, she's the teacher that taught me to read. Now, there may be a very few ch children that can teach themselves to read, but for the most part, that's not true. We need Mrs. Kelly to teach us to read. The point is that uh, the confessions are like Mrs. Kelly. They are the cream of the teaching of a long line of pastor teachers that God has given the people of God. And it's, the, it's the cream of the cream that we find in the confessions. And those confessions are, are, are at least one way in which we have a Mrs. Kelly to teach us to read the Bible. Now, once Mrs. Kelly taught me to read, I wasn't completely dependent upon her. I, did, I wasn't dependent upon her in terms of always having to ask her what something said. Once I was taught to read, I could read. And, what's, and, and when the confessions teach us, the scriptures, they teach us uh, uh, what is in the scriptures and we see it for ourselves. We are uh, continually dependent upon some external authority. It's not like there's some priest who can see things in the Bible that we can't see. We just need a teacher, we need a Mrs. Kelly to show us how uh, to read the Bible and what the Bible says. But once Mrs. Kelly shows us, we can see it for ourselves. And, and this is, uh, I think, a really important way of looking at the scriptures. So the confession tells us that the Bible uh, is clear, but it also tells us that the Bible is not alike clear in all its parts and not alike clear to everyone. But uh, when we have those to whom it is more clear and they can teach us what it says and what it means, we can then see it for ourselves. And I think this is the crucial difference between the way we look at the necessity of the pastor-teacher in the life of the people of God and the priestcraft of Rome.